Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on how to record split transactions. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to thank you for being here. So the first thing I want you to understand in QuickBooks about what a split transaction is, is essentially it just means that you are splitting one transaction between two different accounts, okay, in its most basic sense. Okay, so in QuickBooks, when you record something, whether um, you know, when, and, and when I say record something, it could be like you write a check or you uh, post a debit card transaction or a credit card transaction. You have to assign it to an account and an account really determines how it classifies into your profit and loss statement, your balance sheet, etc. Now, so when you split a transaction, you're, you're splitting it between two different accounts and this is important. Uh, from the standpoint of let's say that you go to Costco and you buy uh, some office supplies, uh, some you know meals, some office decorations, whatever the case may be, instead of lumping that all into one account like office supplies, you split it into multiple accounts. Okay, so let me show you an example here. All right, so let's say that we go and we enter a bill. Let's say that we receive a bill from a vendor and it's for two different things. All right, so let me go here. And if you look up here in vendors, you can see enter bills, or you can go up to the vendor drop down menu and hit enter bills here. Okay, so we're going to say enter bills and we will just choose a vendor. So let's say it's Amazon because you can buy multiple different things from Amazon. All right, so when you're entering a bill, okay, I understand in the real world, you're not gonna get a bill from Amazon, but bear with me here. So let's say we get this bill from Amazon and the date of the bill is 12-15-2023 and it is for $1,425.32. All right, we put in the due date, it's net 30. Okay, so down here we've got account, all right? So if this is between two different accounts, we can split and again all that means is that we are putting it to two different accounts the amounts so let's say the first amount is dues and subscriptions and it's 150 dollars all right and then the second one is gonna be let's say let's go down here and we'll say office supplies and we're gonna say that this is 785.24 okay and now we will say the final one is going to be, uh, we'll say computer repairs. Okay. So as you can see in this transaction, I have split this between three different accounts. Okay. So I'm going to hit save and close. So let's say we've entered this correctly. Uh, we're not class tracking. So we're going to say save anyway. Okay. And now I'm going to go and I want to show you if we go to the chart of accounts, I'm going to show you what this looks like in the chart of accounts. So I'm going to move this over a little bit so I can see accounts payable. Okay. So you can see, I'm going to show the bill that we just entered here. Okay. And let me go up. We'll see right here, Amazon 1425.32. Now, this is where it, it's, it throws people off a little bit, where it says split, okay? Now, typically, it's going to put the account down here. And if there's one account, then it's going to just put that account, like in this one where it says telephone. Now, if there are multiple accounts where it's been split, you're going to see this in the register, okay? So what you can do, if you want to see what that split is, you can double click, and it'll take you right to the transaction. You can see those three different accounts, okay? Uh, so, but when you see a split in a transaction, you see it here on the one we did, you see it here, you see it here, okay? Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other ones. There's some up here and here. Okay, that just means it's split between multiple accounts and it can't show the one account on there. But you can always look at that detail by double clicking, okay? And you can see that this one was split between these two items under the item tab, okay? So that's a basic primer on splitting in QuickBooks and what that means. Uh, again, uh, hopefully this clears up any confusion this might cause for you. You can have split transactions and deposits uh, in uh, credit card charges and bills and debit card transactions, etc. 
uh, all throughout QuickBooks. So any questions, any comments whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University, got the full tutorials there. You become a member. I answer your personal questions there. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.